Hello, everybody. Ah, here we are. The Wood Elves, the Wood Elves, the nemesis of uh, of lizard men. And of course, I uh, I sacked my show hands guy, didn't I? Um, does he have a stripper? No, he's got a tackler though. The tackle's bad enough. Uh, he's three and zero as well, so probably got a clue. Um, the, the cash prizes haven't been scrapped, Targaryen Tantrum. It's only for this season because it's a truncated season due to the release, the imminent release of, um, you know, whatever the fuck it's called. Try to, I tried to speak a good sentence. Failed. Um, legendary edition. Legendary edition's uh, coming out, isn't it? Hello, hello. <laughs> Super VIP, Last Frogman. I, I haven't recorded the uh, the intro yet. I do apologize. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I will do. I will do. I'll do it. I'll do it maybe tonight. I didn't get a chance. But I did some other things. Yeah, he, start, he starts before me, Targaryen Tantra. Much like, he's much like Lupak. In that he starts early and gets all the viewers, and then, and then I fucking come on and, and then you know, it's fucking bad times, isn't it? That's uh, <laughs> very much like Lupak. He's a badass. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ultra super mega VIP. Yeah, that's that's absolutely correct. Don't tell. Nah, you know I'd still fuck about with that anyway. Um, if you want your game, by the way, Last Frogman, if you want your game a month, um, you know, that's that's one of the things, isn't it? You know, you can play a game with all, you know, trying to be as, uh, well, whatever you want, you know, if you want if you want coaching, you can get it. If you just want, um, if you just want a fucking good laugh or whatever if you want to put it on stream and you know however you want to do the match if you want the match because you know you might not want it um you might you know just just like pme and stuff and we sort it out but uh you don't even have blood bowl too fair enough then there you go there you go but um well you, you know you can save them up because i was thinking it would be an idea to do it when legendary hits so that you can use the team editor then, 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 like friendlies and that become a lot better, don't they? Because rather than being stuck with whatever teams you've got, you can um, you can just uh, create something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. If he wants a GFI to hit, side step one, he fucking can. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have put the crocs on the line. Yeah, fair enough, Ducky, fair enough. I think it's already though, it's already um I think he'd already deny the LOS without him, to be honest. Um It's a big commitment, isn't it, for them to uh, to hit the LOS. Especially with three catches. Does he have three catches? Yeah. Three catches. So it would be a heavy commitment for him anyway to hit the LOS. So yeah, but I didn't really, I didn't really think about it. But play a game as an old peasant team. Yeah, I could just do that. I could just, I could just, if you just want me to play a game um, with a team or whatever, um, that could be done. Yeah, he can exactly. It would be over committing. Yeah, he could. He could do it if he wanted, but it would be a big commitment, wouldn't it? So I, I don't mind just putting. I don't really consider putting the uh, Crocs on the LOS, but I didn't consider it. Maybe I would have done if I had more. Um, I'm, and also, maybe I should have put the Crocs in front of the skin because that was just fucking stupid. That was fucking stupid, wasn't it? That was fucking stupid. He's just gonna blitz this one, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then he gets hit by mighty blow. But yeah, the Crocs should have at least protected him. So then if the Crocs was protecting him, I would then I would have thought about putting the Crocs in the LOS. But, um... Yeah, I guess normally I don't think about it because they've normally got a tree, don't they? And I just, like, automatically did it there. But yeah, I should have... You're, you're absolutely correct, Ducky. I should have considered putting it. 
on the LOS. Hundred percent. Hello, Jaleel. Ten imaginary dollars. Hello, my. Yeah, Soros man's. Well, it looks like you're correct, seeing as he's, he's moved his tackler. And he's... <laughs> there, is there a fixation? I've just said it. That's the first time I've ever not just said Jellio. He's going for the fast touchdown by the looks of it. He's going for the fucking... The fucking Inarian Strat. Yeah, he definitely blitzed Saurus, man. Well done, Mile. Ten, ten bison. If I if I knew how to give bison dollars, I'd give you ten bison dollars. Um, but there you go. Well, it serves you right for for watching other streamers, Jaleel. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's three and all though, and, and you know, like I think if he had blitzed the uh, if he had blitzed the skink, he'd have exposed himself to a counter blitz. But then he's done that anyway. So I don't know. Um, hold that thought, last frog man. Hold that thought. What what are these things here? Right. Um. <laughs> oh Jesus! I don't know how to give give them. So you you're getting you're earning more per minute. Um. But I don't know how to give them. Oh, I'd modify. All right, I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it some some other time. It's it's hard to play, isn't it? Right. So is he in scoring range? Yes. Do I uh, do I fucking elf screen? Like maybe. I guess I might as well. There's nothing to really be lost from elf screening, is there? Seeing as I want to protect my skinks anyway. And do I hit a defenseless guy? Or do I, um... Hit the war dancer. I think maybe just tail the war dancer. Blitz him and move everyone else in. Jam the crocs in next to four players. Yeah, that's, that's a, a, certainly a, a worthy a worthy idea. Could have blitzed this one, but then I would have had to do it without mighty blow, and then he would have gone. Then you're giving him assist, but then this would have been nice to go in there. But um, I don't think he's going to score this turn. Facing the blodge guy isn't so worth a while, is it? Yeah, 
Yeah, turning the war dance is good because he's got a tackle, hasn't he? So now he's got a leap away or three plus dodge away to to, to apply tackle. So um, so I thought that was worthwhile doing that. Getting the tail on his tackler. Like, I'd get the tail on the tackler, whatever. You know, he just happens to be a war dancer, doesn't he? Um, he's going to want to swing around this way, isn't he? Presumably. Maybe his hand off, run around. Maybe I just base this guy. And put this guy in the middle. Walk that way. I want no, a few back actually. There's no reason to be forward with him, is there? See what he does. Yeah, it just gave up with 2 dB there. But it's taken three players, isn't it? Wow, he's GFIing instead of dodging. Not the best player in the world. Not the best coach in the world there. Maybe he just didn't want to move this guy first until he saw what happened, so... But yeah, risking a GFI, risking a 1 in 6 to hit with block, rather than just risking a 1 in 9 with a blitz. But yeah, if I'd gone further, this they couldn't have come. If I'd got here, there'd have still been a screen here, wouldn't there? Which I could have done. But then I thought, the further back I am, the more I can react. Because, you know, I figured he'd go through there. And I couldn't really stop him going through. But maybe this the guy here would have stopped it, and he'd just run back. Maybe. This source can be freed, can't you? Or this one. I'll make it three dice easily. One, two. I could just dodge it three on two pluses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, he's gonna dodge him out. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. So I guess just hit defenseless with with block mighty blow guys and then move these two in. Block him down. Base the ball. <laughs> wow, he did just do the leap. <laughs> oh, shit. Crocs on the ball then, by the looks of it. Don't mind that. That's one basing the ball I approve of when it's a fucking croc. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can base him with just a saurus eye. Get the mighty blow bats in. First things first. Yeah, I thought I thought he 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 left that way to get in a good spot, but he didn't. It was just bad. Explaining things fantastically, because um, that used to be I used to explain things, and then lately I've just become a moany old cunt, haven't I? Uh, well, VIP squirrel dude. So um, yeah, I think this this guy has to tag him. So 
So it's whether I activate for the... Uh... I've got to reroll, so I will reroll the Blitz. So I, I won't, um, I won't go with Croxy, Croxy go Blitz. Wouldn't have broken an AV. Don't feel so bad. This is an incredibly easy chain out now, isn't it? Or maybe I should have only tagged with the ball. Only tagged with the soul receiver. There you go, bonehead anyway. Bonehead anyway, classic. Classic bonehead on a crucial turn. Yeah, that was that was a dumb move. I should have uh, put him here, shouldn't I? To stop the chain out. But now it works out okay. Um, with failing the, uh, with failing, <laughs> failing the uh, bonehead. Yeah, but, uh, but, so that's the thing. Like on the one hand, it's just a two dice, though, isn't it? Without putting the crocs in. Fucking bonehead. Yeah, maybe just a handoff in the score. You might have to score here. Well, not have to, but might feel he has to. It was an easy chain, but I think I would have still put him there. If I, you know, it's still, I didn't know I was going to go there, but I still think going there would have been fine. Hopefully, just double ones this hand off. Double GFI, hand off into double GFI, touchdown, eh? Oh no, just hand off. In here. Just gonna score anyway. As Miles said. He's a bit of an Inarian, isn't he? Yeah, there you go. So turn three. Better than Inarian. Scoring in three turns than two. Um, so now, 390 blow hits, isn't it, on the LOS? Just try to defend against this fucking tackle bastard. I mean, I was tempted to blitz him when I had the chance, because even though, obviously, you know, you do want to go for the higher percentage play um, of knocking down the defenseless guy. If you don't knock him down, you're pretty fucked, aren't you? Inarian's certainly a lot better on defense than he is offense, so we'll see. We'll see how this chapter's on on defense. Ah, so now he's scoring four turns. He's he's done really well now. He's scored in about the optimal turn to score, and scoring in four, through through no fucking through no fucking fault of his own. Yeah, that's true. Like he was he was very lucky to keep his team intact versus me. To be fair. Like, this wouldn't happen to Inari. That there is probably more cars than Inarian took all of last season. Um, I want a 3D. I guess I have to pick up. 
and have to be away from tackle. The, these little shits can reach me though as well, can't they? Martin just two plus away from them. Just have to stay away from the tackle guy. And then those deliberately on the other side due to uh, the tackle being that side. All right, don't fail me, Crocs. Well, he almost didn't fail, did he? Hmm. Like to strengthen this one, wouldn't I? So maybe he's a... Maybe I do assist here and go for a 3D. I didn't totally fail. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? Right, even though I don't like leaving him standing, at least he's next to a fucking proxy guard, isn't he? So, <laughs> as Jellyel is saying, um, close it behind. But yeah, I'm thinking in front so that the mighty blow guy doesn't get punched. Um, I think that's probably the best. It's probably going to go through this way. But still. I should have probably moved uh, this skinky. I just going to blitz the skink anyway with block. He follows, he's getting surfed. So he's not a complete newbie. Initiate the elf screen, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, maybe an elf screen. Well, Skrull, dude, when my Saurus stopped dying, um, that would be ideal. If my Saurus could just stop fucking dying, um, I wouldn't have a lone of skin on me. But... As long as my Saurus keep dying every single fucking game, then I'll, I'll carry on having long skins, unfortunately. He makes his 3 plus dodge out. Motherfucker. This is a 3 dice into a Crocs though, isn't it? Which is good. And into the crocs basing him if it doesn't. Right. So let's put him in. In a ballsy position. I don't want to put him there. <laughs> Block. Block doing, doing something. Get the crocs in there, I think. <laughs> getting <laughs> canoe level tactics here, by the way. Getting getting tail on the guy who's got Lee. Um, Gonna go there, haven't it? To stop the lead. Oh, I can't. I can't stop the lead. No, you'd have to keep it, leap away from. Leaping to here is his best shot, isn't it? Or here. So this is the best place for him. Um, don't need to move forward yet. So he'll just go one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then got got the three turns to get the touchdown with three rolls. Mm. 
Yeah, l at low TV, Dark Elves are quite bashy, but still. They don't have claw palm, do they? <laughs> he gets the pow. Pow's me, Blodger. No, no, no. Great play, not, not blitzing the tackle there. Rewarded. Does he use his apple? No. I thought I made a Kaz earlier. I thought it was a second Kaz. It wasn't then. Double GFI? No, you can't base. If I'd left him baseable, he would have double GFI'd, wouldn't he? I'm sure. Oh, he got he, he, he induced an apple, didn't he? He induced an apple and used it on one of the, on the first one, I guess. He's a bad ass. The sad thing is, you can just leap in and fucking get us. I guess that I have to use the crocs to protect the ball, don't I? But I'm too far away. The problem with letting him leap and pray is, though, it's not even bad odds to work, is it? It's alright. We've got the Vengabus cage, which makes it a one dice, usually, at least. Get the mighty blow hit in. This blocks into a, a 3D, doesn't it? So this is worth doing. Got the reroll for it anyway, so... Click because the camera moved. Very good. Might as well use the reroll. Yeah, I guess I could have done with block. I don't. I don't know where the crocs though. <laughs> don't follow, then follow. Classic. Yeah, I guess I was I was unlikely to get a triple skull. I guess I should have used the reroll, yeah, on the mighty blow one. Yeah, on the block. On the Saurus. Very good point, Mile. Misplay by me. So yeah, I don't mind giving the block away from the tackle war dancer, because at least he's not tackling a skink now, isn't he? So while I was looked a bit dumb doing that, didn't I? Wasn't it? Really? And uh, yeah, it's crucial that it took his tackle out of the out of the play. Yeah, he has to go for the leap, yeah. You are correct. But he's got block, hasn't he? And he's got the re-roll. In typical Inarian style, he'll definitely re he didn't re-roll it. I thought I think he should have re-rolled it. At least now I know he has to come from this side, so I can make it a a one dice um I can make like I know which side to protect with the from the leap, don't I? Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need a guy there, guy there, guy there, guy there, guy there, guy there, guy there. I really need to get this guy, unfortunately. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here. Oh yeah, five in. So here's where I have to be. Which means he can come in for the assist. He can come in for the assist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, he has to go here, doesn't he? And him there. And him there. And I guess I don't get to tail the war dancer with the crocs, unfortunately. And need a two plus with a reroll, please. Oof. Unbelievable. And now a three plus. Outrageous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. You can't really get a, a two dice on the ball, can he? I don't think. Uh, this guy could just make some dodges now, then, couldn't he? Got the re-roll. Why not? Like, I can't stop him leaping in, but now at least he's got to go through that way a little bit. Or something, I don't know. Seems okay to stand there. I don't hate it. Maybe I should have thought for the minute that was left about where to go. Just base everybody, that's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> ah, this this one. No, it's not easy because he's got to dodge through there, hasn't he, and then leap. Oh, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, he can get 2D. See, this is why I don't like explaining things fantastically, because if he's watching the stream, I've just given the game away, haven't I? Oh. No reroll on his block, but is it GFI required? Well, unless I can chain him forward. How how to get him forward then? <laughs> the thing is, if I do chain him forward, I've got to block him anyway. Could block him to there, then block him to there. And they're all one in nines. <laughs> or one in um I do this one first. Got three dice in. Then two dice in to try and get the tackle away. Isn't it? Okay. Yep, typical. For 
fuck's sake. So now he could run around and hit him to chain him. Which is a 1 in 9 instead of a 1 in 6. So I've, I've still got to do that. Two dodges. Oh, I guess fuck it, just go for the dodges, eh? Phew. Seems I got mine back. Thank you. Yeah, G4 maybe did it. I rolled a one, didn't I? This is a good chance. Four five. g 4s done he is cheating a bit, yeah. That's true. Um Thank you. Yeah, rested on but it's it's typical, isn't it? Every fucking time it's the first block that makes things fucking dodgy. I think what I might do is Stick the stick this here. See, he's only he's only there to get a three dice block, isn't he? Anyway, and these are here to stop them running through. Yeah, agility four stunt. He is pretty much cheating. Um. Oh well, it's the pickups as well, isn't it? <laughs> but Titchy, yeah, Titchy, especially Titchy in the old rules. That was that was amazing when we created our own teams and made Edge one. Edge one titches, which always dodge in a two plus. That's got to be the, the beardiest thing anyone's ever done. To be fair, snotlings are quite unstoppable. And they're often going to have to dodge to score touchdowns. Oh, wow, that was alright, wasn't it? Um, good. Both down's perfect, isn't it? Because I wanted to hold the position, but also wanted to smash the fuck out of him. But didn't. <laughs> Bit dangerous. Right, let's get out of tackle range, first of all. Maybe a handoff to him. So I've got three re rolls. Nah, I don't want to risk it. This is a bonehead, it's pretty bad. Oh, good. Snotlings. No, but they're, they're unstoppable dodging wise, aren't they? Which um which they quite often have to dodge because they're fucking garbage. To uh, have to put the skinks this side again, away from the tackler. And have to put this guy in here, just in case this blitz fails. Now I wish I'd saved the ball at the end, so I could have gone for the two plus handoff and uh, wouldn't have had to re-roll it. He can stand here, no he can't, no spurs left, no oh, shit. Right, 
I should uh, should open cross out here to uh, to build things. He gets the pal. Oh, he's followed though. I can dodge out. Um, got a non-tackle war dancer behind, behind, <laughs> same as he did last time. But now I've got to uh, delay the score longer, haven't I? Which is uh, worse, harder to do against um, against madmen, isn't it? That's the thing. It's it's hard. Like this is the thing in Arian's defence. In Arian's madman defence is fucking hard, especially for lizard men, because you know you you you've got to um no. Protecting the ball is just tough, isn't it? When he can just blit, leap in and everything. Um, not in the three D from him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Crocs three D on this guy. Yes, exactly, Squirrel Dude. That's well, okay. On one hand, they're um, they're good loners because they they never have to do anything except dodging anyway. But on the other hand, um, if you've got one, it means you might be down a fucking Saurus, which sucks, doesn't it? Three dice the con. Sideline it. Seems risky if he um if he fails this block. Sideline makes him pretty safe from the tackler. Could move this guy around. Oh, he needs to make this not horrific, doesn't he? He doesn't have a square left. He does have a square left. Aha. Just really need to not, really need to not both down this. Oh, thank fuck. Next, he goes there to stop his dodge out there on a two plus. It's okay. Yeah, alone is good. Yeah, I know it is, Tony. I know it is. I know it is. Only one in nine times, though, isn't it? I mean, it is setting up for fail. I mean, but to be fair, I had a fucking, I had a fucking war dancer in my backfield that I couldn't, I didn't pound three dice, and there was no real easy way to cage, so I did have to rely on a, on a one in nine from alone, which, you know, maybe I should have played better so that I didn't have to rely on that, but I did have to. Yeah, the best loan is the Lino Dwarf. Yeah, he's clearly the best because he's replacing a fucking Dwarf anyway, so it's not even that bad. Oh, he's going for another one dice without tackle. Fuck you if you get me. Oh, my God. Do you want to follow, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, the Lino Dwarf means that it doesn't matter what you're missing, 
you've got a line you've, a line or dwarf is fine whereas if you if you're reduced to using a lone skin you might have a missing saurus which is terrible um But yeah, I think if they're replacing a positional there would be pretty good. I can surf that guy, can't I? So the question is, how do I keep the ball safe as well as surfing that guy? Has to be the arch fall guy so I can reroll it. Or this one. I can surf the war dancer. Oh. <sighs> this shit wears cross. <laughs> oh man. I can surf the water. I've realized too late. Potentially too late. Can hit from there. Two plus dodge. Hit from there. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. So it's just a two plus dodge to surf the ward answer. Everything else vaguely safe. Should I follow there? I guess so. But I did want to get round here. And then I want to move him to there for the surf. Sacrifice alone skin. I'm okay with that. No, I don't want to move the mighty blow Saurus yet because I wanna I wanna go for this surf and then move the crocs and then if he boneheads um if he doesn't bonehead the mighty blow guy goes there. If he if he boneheads if he boneheads, the mighty blow takes his place. If he doesn't bonehead, the mighty blow takes his place. So... Maybe I should move him now. There you go. So that, that there <laughs> is why I hadn't moved the uh, mighty blow. Because now I can think about where to put the mighty blow to protect against the leap. One, two, three, four... Two, three, four. You can just leap in there, can't you? But that's a one dicer again. So maybe I don't need to move him in. Just this crux isn't here. Maybe you could go here. Yeah. I mean, maybe you could go there and protect the... Uh, Protect the skink a little bit, but it'd be GFI. I guess I do have to actually try to protect the skink. Because I've already got these blocking the, the route through there, so yeah, fuck it. GFI to protect the skink. Good lad. <gasps> run out of time! First time I've ever run out of time in Blood Bowl 2, probably. Oh, wow, that was bad, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> Ah, shit. There you go. What a fuck-up. What an absolute fuck-up, eh? Oh, I'm just going to go to bed. Right, that's it. Fuck's sake. That's the problem when you explain things, isn't it, eh? Fuck's sake. 
Explaining things fantastic. Getting fucking losing the game because of it. Fuck, that was dumb. I didn't even look at the turn time. Well, I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't been streaming, would I? <laughs> That's for fucking sure. Wow. That was pretty bad. Pretty bad. I'll just assume he would have leapt in and surfed anyway. I would have surfed him in the first place. Well, that's the thing, Mile. That's the thing. As I've um, as I've played more, you know. Yeah, eleven on seven, and now it's ten on eight. Yeah. Can't serve this guy either, can I? Three dice him. Or just two dice of defenseless. Two dice of defenseless, I guess. Sage when he works. Well that's the thing, like, you know, I didn't I didn't used to just not say anything, did I? I used to kind of like talk more about what was happening. And then that has kind of died off. Um, as I've streamed more. Um, and you know, maybe it shouldn't have. So. I was going to try and reintroduce the old days when I started, where I would try to explain what I was doing. I mean, <laughs> but now I'm, now I'm maybe tilting a little bit because that was horrible. That was a two-player swing, wasn't it? That was really horrible. I could have been 11 v 7, and now it's 10 on 8. Yeah. I just didn't even think about the turn, to be fair. I didn't even think about the turn time. It wasn't really analysis paralysis, it was just it was just taking the time to to say shit and that, which If I'd been playing if I'd been playing on my own I would have just done the the exact same turn but in in about thirty seconds. Fuck's sake. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't, because I didn't really think. I really didn't think more than normal. He thought he was getting two dice, but forgot the guard of the Crocs, I reckon. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, getting all that, yeah. I've timed him out every time we played, which I think is fair enough. He's good, isn't he? Hey, good. Good, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, 3D, let's go. He's a, that's three, isn't he? He's a catcher, yeah. Death. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Legendary Edition for sure.
The bonehead is not even that bad. But especially not if he's there. Might as well just fucking base him. He ain't gonna do nothing! Nah, I don't know about farming. Farming the ladder. Wow, he's got a plan, hasn't he? He did that instantly. He's in. He's straight in for the one die splits. Funny that he made the 3+, plus, didn't make the next 3+, plus to, like, counter this assist, and just went in for a 1 dice instead of a 2. Madman. <laughs> Glorious. Make all them dodges, you little fucking prick. <laughs> oh, God. Glorious. Glorious. Oh my god, this, he just dodged this guy to get surfed as well. That was really nice of him, wasn't it? Now I can hand off to the uh, Adge 4, I think. Next turn he turns over, turn after he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI, GFI, so I've just got to get here. Um, can't sideline cage it anymore though. He'll go for a 2D there, because why not? Off there. I'm really fucked if I roll the double one though. Just quietly. Or if I do that, and then bonehead here. <laughs> Fuck it. I had to knock him down, didn't I? I really fucked up that turn. <laughs> didn't need to go that far forward. I should have just caged here. Three skinks, I could have just uh, caged here. Next turn, I had to get far away, didn't I? Next turn is where I had to be far away from the ward, and so I just didn't need to get that far away from him that turn. I just got ahead of myself. He's stunned. He can't reach. Well, he can base. This one can base. He can obviously reach. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Bye. See, that's the thing in it. You can't get the you can't get the tone, can you, from uh, games on the internet? He wasn't being a whiny little cunt. It just he just looked like one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Right. 
So now the only thing is to foul this war dancer, isn't it? I guess. Um, because he can, he can base, but I can just blitz him away. So. I should have screened with a non loner. But, what can you do? Got a, I got a foul for the throne rock, haven't I? And this way. This way he can't, he can't blitz anybody with a war dancer. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Jelly, or maybe. Maybe. Run back and foul. War dancer with your spike. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, and I get touched on foul as well. Which isn't for pure spite, because, you know, he's got the chance of the one turn, hasn't he? So, this isn't a spite foul. This is an absolute playing to win at all costs foul. <laughs> yeah. And then, in fact, maybe he's go here, then run around my player, and then make two GFIs to get the foul. <laughs> Damn foul. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually think the touchdown foul is a good mechanic. I don't even... I don't even hate it. I honestly don't. Like, it's grown on me because it's, it's in the spirit of Blood Bowl that the guy who scores gets to foul somebody if they're in range. That's actually like... Even though the telepathic part is a bit dumb. That's pretty Blood Bowl like to fucking foul but you don't get sent off because it's you're scoring. Right, aha, loan is on the line. Finally. Finally remembered. Nah, he's got three, four, five, six players. Um, I think he needs seven. Uh, he, that's even if he knows how to do it anyway. Um... Oh, I like I'll, I only do it because there's no chance of getting sent off here, Fitch. If there's a chance of getting sent off, I wouldn't have done it. Um, yeah, exactly, Tucky. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly, you know. People always, people always talk about the um, about the turn sixteen salt fouls, which is, to be fair, usually what I'm on the receiving end of, and uh, I don't. I don't get to do it that much because normally on turn 16 I'm scoring or um, or I'm stopping a score, you know. I'm, I don't really get to do the turn 16 salt fouls very often. But with touchdown fouls, I get to do them quite regularly. I think you need seven players to do get two pushes, don't you? Um, I think you need seven players to do it easily. I guess you could just you could use all six there and then hope that he gets a touchback, or hope that he runs back to pass it or something. So I guess he could have done it here with six, but it's not easy for six. Plus, I don't think the way, in all fairness to him, and I'm not being um, I'm not being I'm not being nasty. I think he needs I think he needs seven. Um, I think so. I I don't know. I'm I'm just saying I think. Uh, but yeah, obviously putting Saurus on the line would have made the touchdown the one turn harder. But, you know, I don't know, I'll just try it. I haven't used my Apple, so maybe I could have tried to stop it more. Oh, perfect kick. See, that's why, that's why I never take kick. Just do it anyway. Just get lucky. 
Just get lucky instead. Oh no, you're right. He um, on dodges helping him as well, isn't it? Because I put the, the one time I remember to put the loners on the LOS. It's when uh, it's when somebody's got trying a one turn. All right, it was. It's really easy, isn't it? To do the one turn. Fair enough. No, he doesn't need seven. He just needs five, doesn't he? Just needs five with a touchback. So he needs sixes, yeah, he needs six. He needed every single fucking player. And he's got a reroll, he'll probably do it. Oh, bollocks. What a dumb way to lose. I just didn't think he'd know how to do it. I honestly didn't think he'd know how to do it. So, there you go. Important lesson, don't underestimate your opponent. <laughs> yeah, five with luck, yeah. Yeah. I should have set up to stop it. The one t it's funny though that the one time I remember to put my loners on the LOS, it it helps him score with the uh, with the, with them having dodge and strength too. Um, oh wow, MVP level up. 14, 14 AV bricks is pretty lucky, isn't it? Even even with forty two blocks, I I wish I could get that against Inarian. <laughs> But, um, hello, Dracot322. Yeah, but I mean, I, I wasn't shit when I started playing um, online, you know, after playing loads, after playing loads offline. When I started playing on Fumble, I wasn't shit. But I didn't, I didn't have a clue how to one turn. Though I guess, um, I guess now with the internet, the um the turns are more it's kind of easier to um to do isn't it who's the, who's this player anyway i don't know um nate it's got to be nate hasn't it have i have i got nate i've got nate it should be natalie then eh but natalie's in triple oh it's mindy it must it's mindy obviously it's mindy the best the best crusader that i don't have mindy <laughs> When I started off, but he he wasn't that bad, Ducky. That's what I'm saying. You know, he was about. He was definitely he. That was a game with five Saurus. Yeah, that was a game with five Saurus. Um, I wasn't terrible when I started. When I started offline, I wasn't terrible because I read the rule book, and um, and you know, I I I've I've never I've never been bad at games. Um, well bad at like thinking games i'm never bad at them but um you know he was he was he was probably you know like he was he, he was decent i mean he was but i don't think he was i don't think he played well enough to indicate that he had learned how to one turn himself but yes the thing is now that there is now that there's the internet with like one turn touchdown guides and stuff it's a lot you know it blew my fucking mind the first time i saw it so now, um, but now I guess people can be not that good at Blood Bowl, but still not. Because, like, when I learned how to one turn, it was a really fucking rare thing. And now it's a pretty ordinary thing, isn't it? Um, anyway, right. Let's let's wrap that up. Um, do you need to be good to get two pushes? Do you have to even think about it, Jelly O? That's what I'm saying, you know? It's, it's different. I would have never, ever, ever thought of getting two pushes. He didn't have a grab tree, but I would have—I never thought of it. I played somebody who had Skaven, and I was like two-one up, and I, I set up in a random setup, and I and I like I tabbed out, and then I tabbed in and I drawn, and I was like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, I, I should I should expect people to be at one turn. Yeah, I should I should be I should expect people to one turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, I should, I should, I should expect people to know how to one turn because there's guides and stuff on it. But to, w when I learned how to one turn, it was a very rare, advanced things. And yeah, yeah, expect I should expect everyone to one turn, and that's an important lesson. You should. Yeah, I've seen people say, "What's the point? Who's going next?" Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, 
So, yeah, exactly. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.